Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze uh, CrackMe, which depends on the DAL file. So if I run CrackMe19, it will ask for a serial number. So if I enter any wrong serial number and click on this button check, it will give me the message wrong serial number, try again. So somehow I suspect that this DL has got something to do with this uh, message. So how do I analyze this? I open my XDBG and I open the DL file and then I click on symbols. I look for the DL file in the module list and from here I can see that this is a user DL. System DL I can ignore. I'm just interested in the user DL, so I click this. And these are all the ex exported and imported functions, also known as APIs. So the import functions we can safely ignore because these are all the system DLs as you can see. But what we want is the export functions. Every DL has got export function. So if any other module wants to make use of that DL, for example, if this CrackMe19 wants to make use of anything in the DL, this DL must export those functions before this CrackMe19 can use them. So this is where you can find out what are the functions or APIs ex being exported by this DL by looking here. So now you see this is an exported function from this DL. So you know the name of the function, the API, is called check serial number. So remember the spelling, check serial number. Right, you can write it down, open the notepad and write it down. So the name of the exported API from this DL is lowercase c check serial number. Okay, now we can stop this and then we can now analyze the main DIL. We can now analyze the main module, the exe file itself. So we can now open this and then here my options, preferences, setting size follows, only entry breakpoint is checked. Okay, now I know that this exe will make use of this API, this function. So I can put a breakpoint on, on this. So how do I put a breakpoint there? I go down to the bottom here, put breakpoint, and then copy the name of the DAL, copy the name of the function which is being exported by the DAL, and then put it here, right click, and paste. Then I hit enter, then it tells me breakpoint set. I can confirm by going here and checking the breakpoint is set. Now I run. So when I run, it's going to open this window, ask me to enter the serial key. So I can just enter any wrong serial key and click on check. So once I click on this, notice it has hit my breakpoint here. Check serial number. So this is how I can trace the API that is being used by the EXE which is from the EDL file. Okay, so I hope this helped you guys out who are wondering how to put breakpoints on API functions being exported by a DL. Thank you for watching.